Hello, I'm clarinetist Sean Osborne. Welcome to the third video in the series, 10 Steps to a Great Clarinet Section. These videos are a supplement for band directors, private teachers, and students to help them have more fun with the clarinet and to improve their students, or their own, playing. Please feel free to leave comments or questions, or share the videos. Also check out my performance videos and other instructional videos on orchestral excerpts, extended techniques, and reads. I'll be posting more all the time, so keep coming back. Also below are links to my website with lots of information and recordings available everywhere. The ligature. It holds the reed on. And getting a good one is an inexpensive way to make clarinet playing easier and more fun. These days, I see a lot of ligatures that are designed to hold the reed on crookedly. I don't understand why anyone would design such a ligature, and I really don't understand why anyone would buy one, but I see them all the time in schools these days. Inverted ligatures, with the screws in the back, are generally better than those with the screws in the front. I recommend the Bonad Inverted Ligature as a very inexpensive but good ligature. Other good ligatures are made by Van Doren, and they have a wide variety of models and prices. Position the ligature as high up as you can get it on the mouthpiece, without going over the window. The bottom of the window usually lines up with the bend in the back of the mouthpiece. The lines that are often drawn on the mouthpiece to guide you are usually in the wrong place. These are pretty good, but sometimes they're much too low. If the two halves of the ligature are touching, with no screw showing through, then your ligature is up too high and needs to go lower down on the mouthpiece, regardless of how close it is to the bottom of the window. If you have to move it very far down on the mouthpiece, then your ligature is too big and you need a new one. The screw should be firm, but not tight. Don't make this a contest of strength. Ah! If the threads on the screw, or in the socket, gets stripped, you can use dental floss to make it work in an emergency. Please come back again for more videos. Keep in touch, and keep on tooting.